Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steven from The BS Show and some unfortunate news coming from TJ Dillshaw earlier today. So pretty much he put out a statement saying that USADA found some adverse findings inside his test. So yeah, he's relinquishing his bantamweight belt. Very unfortunate. Um, I don't think TJ Dillshaw is the, the guy that would purposely cheat. But I know he has been working with a new nutritionist. But he had to lose 10 extra pounds to drop to flyweight to fight Henry Cejudo. He had to lose 10 pounds off of a body that already looks like it has no fat on it whatsoever. So my thoughts are that maybe the nutritionist or someone in TJ Dillashaw's team accidentally gave him a supplement to help him cut weight that was on the USADA's ban list. I mean, it's an unfortunate situation. We don't know what he popped for. I'm very curious to see what that is. But this does not look good. Props to TJ Dillshaw though for jumping ahead of this whole thing and addressing it and talking to his fans That's really cool on his part But the bad end of this coin is this does not look good on him Especially after Cody Garbrandt accused him of teaching everyone on alpha male how to cycle steroids was made, um, at TJ was the fact that he'd uh, taken some special supplements Oh yeah, the guy's on everything yeah. He's on everything TJ? Yeah, I'm on everything. Come and te they test me every day, so come on, I'm on everything. <laughs> Funny, you're the one that showed everyone how to do it on Team Alpha Male. Yeah, I'm the one that's right, now look, bringing look it at in. Him. Yeah. Look at him. He has nothing to say. Does anybody else think that's a moronic statement by Cody Garbrandt? Like, let me just say that my whole team is on steroids and you taught us how to do them. I mean, but I digress. Like I said, props to TJ Dillshaw for not holding up his division and relinquishing the belt it's unfortunate we will see how long he gets suspended i know it's a minimum of a year from the fight so one since he got tested so we won't be seeing him a year from then and maybe longer depending on how his court hearings go i'll keep you guys updated on that but what do we do with that bantamweight division now who i want to see fight for the belt and who i think deserves the belt is marlon marias and since Henry Cejudo beat him at flyweight. Maybe Henry Cejudo should move up since they might be getting rid of that flyweight belt anyways. And Marlon Marias and Henry Cejudo should fight for that bantamweight belt. That's the fight I want to see. But imagine how much worse this situation could have been if TJ Dillshaw ended up beating Henry Cejudo. Then we would have two divisions up in the air. So we have that to be fortunate for. Luckily, TJ Dillshaw lost. <laughs> But anyways, let me know who you guys want to win that Bantamweight Championship or who you want to see to face off for that Bantamweight Championship. And what do you think? Do you think um, TJ Dillashaw had this all planned? Do you think he was cheating under everyone's eyes? Or do you think this was just a simple mistake made by his team while trying to cut weight to fight for that flyweight belt? Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll keep you guys updated on the situation. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.